Call it. He's doing it. He's doing Come it. Come on. The Chosen had perhaps the busiest month of its history. Not only did it wrap the filming of the highly expected fifth season of the series, but also expanded the Chosen universe into multiple series. And now, as if all this huge news is not enough, they revealed yet another amazing breakthrough that will put the show's name in the history books. We all know that The Chosen has already been translated into 50 languages, but Come and See aims to expand that to 600 languages. Stan Jantz, president and CEO of Come and See, emphasized how groundbreaking this effort is, saying, we're taking a media project and translating that into 600 languages, which has never been done for a TV show of any kind. For the record, it should be important to note that during this year's International Translation Day, the focus was heavily on the translation of the Bible. According to Johns, Bible translations are a top priority, and there are ongoing efforts to make the Bible accessible in every language by 2033. The most translated efforts going on are around the Bible, Johns said, noting that every tribe, every nation, a collection of Bible translation agencies aims to have the Bible translated into roughly 6,000 languages by that year. He shared by 2033 that many people will have at least a New Testament and probably about 95% will have the whole Bible in their heart language. Apparently, the impact of these translations is deeply felt. Johns shared a moving story from India, where a woman who initially watched The Chosen in English had a more profound experience after watching it in her native Hindi. It gave her such more connection to the characters, he said. She just said, thank you for translating into Hindi because it was so much more meaningful for me to see it and experience it in my heart language. In Madagascar, where the country's president requested the show be translated into Malagasy, the translated version had a similar impact. The president, who is a Christian man, wanted the chosen made available in this impoverished country for all to watch. As a result, the show has been broadcast in public places like prisons, orphanages, and even in rural areas via trucks, John said. A year later, we are still hearing results of people who have been impacted by this. The translation sparked a nationwide celebration, with billboards celebrating The Chosen and its message, which Johns humbly pointed out was more about Jesus than the show itself. I mean, I doubt there is any other series in the world that has ever been translated into this many languages. The Chosen is already a very accessible show for a lot of people. However, once it is translated into 600 languages and completed, it will probably be the most accessible and popular show in the world. I don't know about you guys, but I personally cannot wait for it. Now, you may ask how The Chosen has managed to become such a successful show that there is such a high demand for it worldwide. Well, this is a fair question. After all, even if it is based on the Bible, in today's extreme boom of TV shows, it is difficult for any series to stand out. Well, according to Noah James, The Chosen succeeds because viewers can see their own experiences reflected in the characters. He said, we're telling the story, but we're also telling people's stories. They see themselves in The Chosen, and it's true. The numbers support James's remarks. As of January 2024, the show has reached more than 200 million viewers worldwide, which is huge to say the least. This couldn't be achieved if the show wasn't this authentic. James further revealed that one of his favorite moments at the event was hearing fans' personal stories about how The Chosen has impacted them. He shared, I have had more people than you would think come up to me and say, you know, I struggle with anxiety. I see myself in your character. This connection, he said, is what makes the show special. What makes The Chosen special in your opinion? I can't wait to hear your thoughts about it. Looking ahead to season five, which is set for release in early 2025, James also gave us a sneak peek. He teased that this upcoming season will be tumultuous, as it will cover the events of Holy Week. Despite the heavy themes, James mentioned that filming went surprisingly smoothly, which contrasted with the emotional weight of the storylines. Season six will later depict the crucifixion of Jesus, which is probably the most expected season ever. Let me know what are you most excited about The Chosen season five in the comments below. In addition to his work on The Chosen, James and some of the cast members are teaming up with survivalist Bear Grylls for an exciting new show titled The Chosen in the Wild. Interestingly, it seems like The Chosen has changed Grylls' relationship with faith and spirituality as well, which is why he wanted to partner with The Chosen in the first place. In an interview with The Christian Post, Grylls reflected on his spiritual journey saying, faith and doubt are two sides of the same coin. I have many doubts and struggles, but through it all, I feel Christ has been a light to a dark path. For Grills, faith is essential in navigating life's highs and lows. 
He emphasized that he needs Christ every day, not just during formal religious gatherings. This is not the first time Grills has spoken about his faith. In a 2023 interview, Grills expressed concerns about how many churches today have strayed from the essence of faith. I think Jesus would really struggle with 99% of churches nowadays, he said, pointing out how layers of formality and performance often overshadow the true purpose of faith. Apparently, this authentic view of faith is what fuels his latest project, The Chosen in the Wild. The six-episode series will bring together cast members of The Chosen and challenge them to survive in the wilderness with grills, mirroring the endurance and faith of Jesus' disciples. Grills described the project as a unique way for audiences to see the chosen actors in real survival situations, much like the challenging conditions the disciples faced in their journey with Jesus. Personally, I'm not sure if this is actually the same thing. Like, I get the allegory, but I'd prefer if Jesus' experience wasn't compared to anything else. But let me know what you guys thought of it. Talking about the new show, Grills said, what we've tried to do with the chosen in the wild is get to know the real people and show their real journey. Grills believes this concept aligns perfectly with the authenticity of the chosen, which captures Jesus' teachings in a relatable human way. Grills added that the show helps viewers focus on the core of faith, keeping one's eyes on Christ. Let me know if you will watch The Chosen in the Wild, or do you find it a little bit of a stretch? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about it. For more The Chosen content, make sure to like and follow. Click on the video on the screen to learn more about the expansion of The Chosen Universe.